everybody so today we are headed to my pretty much my favorite store it's new and used lego um that's not the name but that's what they have new and used lego it's like a lego hobby store it's called five star bricks um so we're gonna be headed there today because i need to pick up some parts for the uh that the both the bat cave and the military base mock i need to make like two more mills plates and i need a bunch more rocks so i'm going to show you guys right now what what the goal is and then we'll uh We'll fast forward to when we're there and going through parts and stuff like that. Yeah, so let's go. So for the military base, I want to do one more of the big 48 by 48 uh, stud base plates and put it here probably. So I need to get some more filler brick probably and I don't have any more of the plate, the tan, either dark tan or light tan plate left. So I'm going to be picking up a bunch more of that probably, hopefully, and I think that'll pretty much it for the military base so let's go check out the bat cave so for the bat cave i just want to get uh basically enough rock to fill this completely have this or you know what i mean like fill to here and then maybe to here with the the molded rock pieces and then i'm not really gonna dig through their like their pick a big pick pick a brick really for any of these slopes, I'll just make a brick link order and kind of fill that in with a brick link order. So yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go see if we can find anything. Let's go. Hey. So I got some stuff, but I uh, kind of forgot to film anything. So let's just get into it. I, guess. I got a pretty sweet mini fig, which I'm gonna sit over here and we'll show you later. But I got another base plate. This is pretty much all for the bat cave and for big uh, milk plate. And pretty much all it is is rocks. And they didn't have any of these in the, uh, this color. They only had them like a lot darker, kind of the older ones. So I got some some here. Uh, some look at that. I got some ones with the kind of green because it kind of looks like moss. And I'm thinking if I put that in with the where the waterfall is, it might kind of kind of tie it in. I'll show you, show you what I'm talking about. So kind of right along in here, and obviously it'll be covered with more rocks like that. So you'll only see like a little bit of it. But I got I think four or five of these, so that should bring me all the way at least to here, maybe maybe here. So we'll see. Then, we got a lot of it, so I got another base plate, because I only need a lot more, but they only had one, so I just grabbed that. But the minifigure that I got, Iron Patriot. Let's go. I was I was pretty surprised to see him there, and he was like 50 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm pretty sure, because I looked on eBay, and I saw him for like 60, and there was one sold for 60, so I was like, 50 bucks, let's go. Doesn't have the little backpack thing, but it's not that hard to make. Here's a better look at everything that I got. This is kind of cool. This was in the crate. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, take a guess at how much everything with the minifig. So the minifig was 50 bucks. Take a guess on how much all the plate and everything costs. Let me know in the comments. Um, but let's start making a mills plate with some of this stuff. Okay, so I've been starting on the mills plate. It's kind of unorthodox, but I'm just using the brick that I have right now. And I'm just kind of doing it somewhat quickly. I'll go back through and make it more even and whatever. But uh, I need a new way of uh, finding Lego. I'm going to make like a table or something. Maybe that'll be in the part two of fixing up the Lego room. I'm just gathering materials right now and just kind of don't want to have to move all the Lego around. I should have waited, but I got impatient because it's Lego and I don't like waiting. Um, but the bucket is pretty old, so it broke on me this time. And it takes forever, obviously, to pick this stuff up. So I think I'm going to build like a table kind of. It's got like an edge on it, you know? So I can dump all the Lego and dig around and then maybe make like a hatch or something that uh, kind of swings open so I can just put it all back into a bucket or something. But I'm gonna keep digging around, finding brick, and then I will update you on the mills plate. Okay, so starting off, actually this is kind of the first thing. I also got this from the hall today. A ghost poster of him right there. But I got the mills plate done got it all done using all the parts from five star so that's pretty sweet it's uh, 48 by 48 connects with uh, the whole thing. well it's connected with little like technic axles uh here and here i think i'll do like a little gas pump or something here 
I kind of expand this out. I want to have like a workstation. The only thing is these tanks are very, very big. It takes up a decent amount of room. Um, so I definitely want to do one more mills plate uh, over here. And then I need to mills plate this whole section and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, these, this is what I have left over. Some of this is probably going to go to the bat cave. Some of it's going to go in the bucket of kind of like the military bucket. Just the actual pieces uh, for the military base. But yeah, that is pretty much that. I've got more pieces for the bat cave, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. Uh, kind of a big update on the bat cave once I get a lot more stuff done. Um, but yeah. Now I gotta pick all this up, and yeah, there's lots of, uh, like, non-official Lego in here, but I don't, I, although I was thinking about it, you know, I was like, ah, oh, you're never gonna see it under the middle's plate, but no, I don't use it, I throw them away when I find them, it's just, uh, it is a lot to go through, eventually I'm gonna sort everything, everything is gonna go into these, I have, like, 50 more of these that I need to bring in here, and I'm gonna line all around, all pretty much under, uh, all of the shelves with these, so that way, and then put the pieces on the front so I know what's there, what I'm grabbing. Um, oh, well, maybe better glue because they went one just fell. So uh, I'll figure that one out. But yeah, I'm gonna pick this up and then we'll kind of wrap this video up. So just like that, I put everything back in the bucket and the table is still a mess. I'll pick that up later. But yeah, so just that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I really appreciate you watching this video. And if you, like I said, if you have any any ideas on what I should put here, let me know. Let, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, so I completely forgot to show the minifigure. Here he is. It is Iron Patriot. Super excited to add him to the Hall of Armor. And if you want to see a video on that, I will do one. Eventually, I want to make a whole thing just like the Batcave for it. So, yep, that is it. Now, peace.